So this is the final trial grounds. <laughs> not up to you or me to decide whether or not this is the end. Huh? What do you mean? Well, well. More importantly, since you guys requested that we hold this class trial, you won't mind allowing me to participate too, right? Right. It'll be easier to argue if I do. That's true. True. I was going to have you participate this time, but I didn't think you'd volunteer. What is it? You seem confident. <laughs> With my magic. You're confident now, but I'm going to turn your body into an omnibus with my magic. Actually. Uh, an omnibus? Do you mean the vehicle or like a compilation book or? You're fucking me. Knock it off. I won't be provoked by your cheap threats. <sighs> he seems really provoked. Yeah, but. Pops is going to participate. Things are going to get pretty darn interesting. You can do it, father. Get a rock hard ranger! We'll cheer you on until our voices are hoarse and bleeding. Right, Monodam? That's wonderful. This is beautiful. How stupid. Mm. Cheer me on. You guys are totally participating too. <coughs> you kids have a pivotal role to play. What kind of dad would I be if I hogged the spotlight? You kids don't play a pivotal role. Then what use are any of you? Um... Give it a roll. Can you really do it? Now it'll be when they do the split, be all the monocups on one side and us on the other. In the split decision argument or whatever it's called. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Looking forward don't worry. To As a good parent, I will do my darndest to motivate you. Well, now. With this button. What? Well, what's the button for? The monocup detonator that I prepared to ensure my adorable kids do their very best. Huh? Detonator? Yeah! Yep, with the push of this button, I'll detonate the bombs inside each of your bodies. So make sure you try really hard, or I'll start pressing this button. Got it? Hey! That's too far. Here. You know what they say? If your kids are cute, put a bomb inside of them. You stupid! That's not a real saying. Cuz! I know you cute kids can do this. You just need the proper motivation. So no need to worry, just make sure all you you all play pivotal roles, that's all. <laughs> oh dear. How absurd. I knew it. You really are the worst. <laughs> I'm the best of being the worst, don't you think so? <laughs> hmm, I tell ya, people can get enough of my crude antics. Now then. Alright, let's get started. Let's get this crude climax underway. Okay. Now we're at the final class trial. Okay, begin class trial. Class trial in session. Let the voice acting take over from here. There to begin <laughs> by asking Shuichi a question, since this class trial was his idea. What exactly is the point of this class trial? Yeah! Why are we having a class trial if no one died? Whoa! My voice was way louder than I expected. I might be on a roll today. Hey! I'm no slouch of being a loud mouth either! Me too. Okay. Monadam's voice is super soft, though. Everyone cool with him getting blown up? You said that the killing game would end if you exposed the truth at the class trial. So, you bastards, what <laughs> is the purpose of this class trial? Oh, that's a good question. But his voice was quiet. Does voice for him not matter at all? Episode of this class trial. All right. All right. I'll, I'll give you an, an answer. answer. That's the right. This is I voice called for this trial is. Uh, that's a continue the killing game. Uh, retry a past case. Really? I assume it's to stop. That's it. I wish to retry a past case. Maybe K-Day's... Maybe K-Day was innocent. 
Okay. So the pink was from her bag. So maybe he was really just hit over the head. And they planted... No, because then they, why would they just take that one? Why not use the one that missed, I guess, rather than plant another one? A retrial? Guess we'll figure it out. For which case? The first one. The murder of Rantaro Amami. I've found new evidence relevant to the case. In light of that evidence, I demand a retrial. What's the point of a retrial? The result of the first class trial has already been settled. Yeah, yeah. What if our vote was wrong? <laughs> wrong? Monokuma said the blackened for that incident was Kaede. Are you saying he was wrong? Whoa, 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 what? Monokid, your reactions are too extreme. <laughs> it's making the rest of us look bad. Oh, oh, shit. He's already got the detonator. To test the validity of our vote, we're going to retry the entire case. Really? If Monokuma was wrong, the validity of these trials would be in question. The entire killing game wouldn't make sense anymore. I see. You think you can destroy the game by calling out my failure as the game master. You shouldn't have a problem with this if you have nothing to hide, Monokuma. <laughs> so in the end, the first case has become the focal point yet again. Yet again. What a twist. What an interesting twist! Okay, let's do this! Yeah, I can't remember the first cases in the previous games. So what is this new truth? There are several. But before we go any further, I want to discuss Rantaro's talent. Did you learn what his talent was? Rantaro's ultimate talent was mystery, but now I know. The ultimate victim. <laughs> That's it! He was the ultimate survivor. Ultimate survivor? I saw it too. He said so in his video. Yeah. Rantaro became the ultimate survivor after surviving a past killing game. After his memory was wiped, he participated in the killing game once again. I need to look up the characters in the previous games, because I swear I don't remember him, but we'll see. So this wasn't Rantaro's first killing game? Why did he participate in a second killing game? I'm not sure yet. But after I learned that Rantaro was the ultimate survivor, I deduced his objective. Rantaro's objective? The reason he went to the library before he was killed, and why he knew about the hidden door. I didn't really Didn't deduce he just his objective. To randomly he notice told the you. hidden door? That's what I thought at the time, but it appears that assumption was false. There was an actual reason Rantaro knew about the door. Yes, that reason is the survivor pack. That's it. Rantaro was given this monopad as a kind of survivor perk. It has a map of the entire academy, including areas that had not yet been unlocked. Yep, that'd be quite handy. Of course, that includes the hidden room. To think Rantaro was given that as a survivor perk. He found out about the hidden room with this map? The monopad also contained a video Rantaro recorded for himself. If the Mastermind ever needed a spare Monokuma, they would head to the hidden room. The message was what inspired him to go to the library to investigate the hidden yeah. room. Whenever Monokuma is destroyed, they go there to make a new one. It's 
time limit is now in effect. If murder does not occur by night time two days from now. You shouldn't force participate no force to participate in this killing game will die. Mold shreds by countless monokumas from the rumored monokuma making machine. The mastermind would have gone to that room to mass produce monokuma once time ran out. So in order to figure out who the mastermind was, Rantaro went to the hidden room at the back of the library just before time ran out. That's right. Rantaro must have come to the same conclusion that Kaede and I did. It sure is ironic that the ultimate survivor died because of Kaede's trap. But if Rantaro had a clue like that, why didn't he come to us with it? I assume because he didn't trust us. The killing game had just started after all. Yeah, that'd be zero trust. What he said in his video message certainly didn't help either. He told himself to only share this information with people he could trust. He didn't have any recollection of filming this message, right? That means he must have had trouble believing it as well. It was probably confusing to him too. That's why he didn't consult us. Why the long face? It's nothing. Who normal isn't some guy who can't even remember his own talent, right? This is exactly what Monokuma wanted us to do. So what else is part of his plan? My memory part of it too? If it is, then... Can I even trust myself? He didn't know if he could trust that video, or trust us, or even trust himself. He must have been so lost. But with the time limit approaching, he decided to take a chance. No need for that, because I'm going to end this game. Already decided. Yeah, going to end this game? It's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game, it's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. Can you even accomplish such a feat? I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't think I could. So we went to the library alone, without telling anyone. And then he got killed by Kaede's trap. The only people who knew about the hidden door at that time were Rantaro and I. And Kaede? Did she not? I had Kaede with me, and I thought I could trust her. So I told her about the hidden room. That was the difference between me and Rantaro, I suppose. I had Kaede. And Kaede's the one who killed him! What a snake! Ask to see the video footage if he records everything. Hey, so what are you guys talking about? Is this something I forgot? I don't know anything about what they're saying. Is this something that transpired before we were uh, born? Yeah. So what's your point? You know who Rantaro was and why he did what he did. But it's pointless now, isn't it? No, it's not pointless. Now that we know this new information, if we look back at Rantaro's case, we can find a new truth that we missed at the time. A new truth? I don't really get it, but we just need to look at Rantaro's case again, right? Then let's do it. Yes, let's do this together. Okay, let's go. With my vast magical powers, I'll turn Monokuma into an omnibus. I hope by the end she actually does do something. That'd be hilarious. But let's really now spend the next either, couple of hours. But I guess we're gonna going republish Monokuma. Information we've already gone over. I'm not too sure either. The real battle is just beginning. We'll prove that the result was wrong, and corner the mastermind together. Okay, so do we have old evidence or new evidence? Rantaro went All to the evidence, library. apparently. Just before Monokuma's time limit expired. Uh, Using the information provided by the survivor... Oscar Kichi's motive video. 
Ah, nothing else really relevant. Perk. Mysterious messages. Made his way to the hidden door. To expose. The okay, survive it. This is probably where it is. The identity of the mastermind. But before he could achieve that goal, he got hit in the head with a shot put ball and died. Because of Kaede's fully automatic killing machine. Eh? Fully automatic? There was no culprit at the scene. The only one in the library at the time of the murder was Rantaro himself. That's a fact, right? I feel like that's something we could argue against. The camera went off just before the incident. And only Rantaro was in the picture. There was the only one at the scene. That's what we concluded at the first trial. Was it really true? Rantaro no, went to the library. Um just before Monokuma's yeah. time limit expired. How do I prove Using that the Sonos information provided by the survivor perk. The only one in the library oh, at the time of the murder was Rantaro himself. Yeah. Because someone had to take it. Even though someone could take it after the murder, but we'll see. No. Rantaro was not the only one in the library at the time the murder occurred. This survivor perk monopad is proof of that. Is it? Why would that monopad be evidence? The monopad was given exclusively to Rantaro as his survivor perk, correct? But when we searched Rantaro's body, he didn't have it on his person. He only had his student handbook monopad. Which means that someone took this monopad from Rantaro after the murder. That's very wrong! Wow! That's what we've been saying! They don't remember it. So let's see what they say. What? Uh, keep quiet, will you? I don't have time for your nonsense right now. Really? They have no clue what anyone is talking about. If we don't chime in soon, Pops is gonna push the detonator. Then we better not let these fucking chumps run their maths anymore! Okay, what are we arguing? A bloody monopad is disgusting! You should wash it right away! That's not a real rebuttal! <laughs> Someone stole the survivor perk monopad! Where's the proof? No way there's a bloody thief! Actually, there but is. Remember, Rantaro brought the Survivor Perk Monopad to the library. If it's missing now, that must mean someone stole it. He brought that Monopad to the library? I think there's maybe no way that's possible. All he had on him was the Student Handbook Monopad! He didn't bring the Survivor Perk with him! There we go. I'll cut through your words! He's holding one in the photo. No! There is no doubt Rantaro brought the Survivor Perk Monopad to the library. The picture taken just before he died clearly shows him holding it. That could be his student handbook monopad, bro! You fucking know! <laughs> no, it was definitely this same monopad. You see the way the blood has dried here? The outline of his fingers matches how he was holding it in the picture. Uh, oh, you're right. Sort of. Shortly after this photo was taken, Not really, Rantaro though. was struck in the head by the shot put ball. Do you think that's when this bloody outline on the monopad was formed? I do. That's why the monopad Rantaro is holding in this picture. <laughs> Has to be the same monopad we have now. What? Come on, no overreacting! It makes us look like we're not paying attention! Scream all you want! Monoskay's the one that's gonna get blown up! <laughs> Monokid! So they're all gonna be dead by the end, surely. I was so upset my cute cubs lost that my finger slipped! 
but those were some pretty fireworks. Even in death, my kid's a real cutie. I hear lions push their cubs into bottomless ravines to kill them. Okay. They don't kill them. So there was a thief, huh? I can't believe someone would do something so evil. So who took the monopad? Do you know anything else? Do you know anything about the person who took Rontaris' monopad? Yes, I think we do. Let me get the facts straight and think. I mean, it's the mastermind because we found it. Because we found it in the hidden room. That would be probably the last question. Where do we find the monopad? It's the most pointless of mini games, yet the one that has the most interactivity. <laughs> How many monopads did Rontaro have in the library? Like, after this, it feels like the conversation just continues where it left off. But it feels like it's, like, it's like shoehorned in. No, if you took it out, you wouldn't even notice with the flow of conversation. Which monopad was taken away? The survivor pack monopad. How many questions will there be? Three or four? Yeah, okay, so this is a question that I knew would be here. This is probably the last one, I assume. Oh, unless the last one is like, who took the monopad and it's mastermind. That'd be the last question. In room. Oh, no mind. Mastermind is this one. Wait, no, that is what I said. I'm still half asleep. Okay. Mastermind. Who took that monopad is the mastermind. I'm sure of it. The mastermind? The survivor perk monopad was found in the library's hidden room. Why is they And only the that? mastermind would have been able to enter that room, correct? Between the time Rentaro died and when we found him, they put that monopad in the hidden room? Nope! That's impossible! Impossible? Why? Huh? You don't know? Why, even my cute little cubs have already figured it out. Uh-oh. He's about to be disappointed. Huh? We have? Yeah, so I'll let Monotaro explain. Huh? I've already forgotten what we're even talking about. Oh, crap, he's gonna push it! It's gonna be Monokin all over again! He remembers that? The Mastermind is not in any of the photos taken in the library. Why is that? Huh? Oh, that's true. In order to get to the hidden room, you need to move the bookcase, right? But Shuichi and Kaede set up those hidden cameras, so... If the Mastermind was using that door, they would have been caught on camera. But none of the pictures showed anyone like that. Then, that reasoning is wrong. Amazing, Monodon! Well done! I am curious how this is explained. Hold on. The hidden cameras in the library had interval timers. The shell snaps, the camera can't take a new photo for 30 seconds. Okay. That probably explains it. 
Perhaps the mastermind worked within that 30 second interval? I see. So the mastermind hid in the hidden room, waited for the right timing. I was about to say, how did they know about that? But I guess cameras everywhere. They were aware of everything going on. Grab the monopad from the library and then return to the hidden room. Hold on! There's a flaw in your logic. What? What flaw? Huh? Don't ask me! <laughs> the mono cubs are gonna explain it! What? Again? Reject your logic without explaining why! That's the Monokuma debate style! Oh. Okay. Take it from here, mono cubs! And you better use your brains or I'll kill ya! Oh. Was not expecting this. Um, I'm guessing it's the cameras. That is the. Yeah, six Monica. What are we arguing about again? The the hidden camera. Isn't it weird that the mastermind's not in any photos? Unless they use the interval between shots. The camera has a 30 second interval between shots. That's enough time to take the monopad from the body. Then where was the mastermind hiding? In the hidden room, of course. If they were still inside the hidden room. How would they know what was happening in the lab? That's wrong! Not exactly what I thought it was gonna be the answer for, but it still works. The mastermind saw what was happening in the library. They had surveillance cameras. I assumed it was gonna be learning about the 30 second interval, not learning about what's going on in the library. Surveillance cameras. What? Where would uh, something like that be? You don't know? Even though they're monocubs just like you? <gasps> monocubs? I mean these. <gasps> so cute and tiny! Aren't they? They're your siblings too! That's a big reveal to drop so casually. <laughs> I need to make that like a profile picture on Steam or something. These little guys are called Nanokumas. Their job is to monitor the campus. Campus. How do you know that? Oh, father told me. He said to make sure I told everyone. <laughs> I had completely forgotten about it. Good thing I just remembered. Dumbass! You remembered too late! There are countless nanokumas buzzing all over the campus. All the footage they record is wirelessly transmitted through Mother Kuma, and then sent to Monokuma. So how come Gonta only saw them sometimes? Yes, via Mother Kuma. That's an important point. If Mother Kuma receives the camera feeds, the mastermind could ask it anything. They would know about the situation in the library and the hidden room. I see. Mother Kuma can tell them the interval timers for the yeah. cameras. Then the mastermind was in the hidden room after they stole the monopad from Rantaro. But why would they steal the monopad? The mastermind was probably terrified by the idea of us picking up Rantaro's perk. No, that's wrong! What? I wasn't necessarily afraid. The survivor perk was for Rantaro's eyes only. Sure, he could have shared the info with you. But that's not the same as getting the info directly from the monopad. Because then you can't say it was a survivor perk for Rantaro's eyes only, right? So when he died, I took it back. That's all. Um. I don't know about that. Oh, okay. I mean, what he said makes sense. How do you figure? You look calm now, but at the time, you must have been pretty desperate. The monopad clearly stated that there was a mastermind in the academy. If we knew then that a mastermind was behind everything, we would have worked together. 
But you couldn't let that happen. You needed us to go after each other. When did we learn the mastermind? I mean, we knew that from the beginning because A Day set that trap. I don't know. I really forget the beginning of this game. Either way, you admit the mastermind stole the monopad, right? Well, yes, but only reluctantly. Then the mastermind messed up. If they wanted to retrieve the monopad, they should have used Monokuma to do it. Nope, that's impossible. The rules state I can't participate in a murder, which includes tampering with the crime scene. <laughs> Go rules. If you're so strict about following the rules, does that mean that someone is watching? If that's the case... Still, what a waste of a survivor perk! If only he lived a little longer, then this info would have made things interesting! Ah, stop changing the subject! We don't have the whole picture. It seems like... It seems that we're all being watched. In that case, this plan should go well. We're on the killing game by proving that it doesn't follow its own rules. We'd be able to end the whole thing. But the point of this class trial is to discuss Rantaro's case, right? The mastermind stealing his survivor perk shouldn't affect it whatsoever. In the end, Kaede killed him. There's no shaking off that truth. Yeah, yeah! One truth prevails! No, that's not the truth. I'm certain of that. It's a lie that you made up. Me? Why? That's right. Kaede wasn't the one who killed Rantaro. The true culprit is... Mastermind. <laughs> Rantaro. That's it! The mastermind controlling Monokuma. They're the one who killed Rantaro. The mastermind is the culprit? Jeez, and you call yourself the ultimate detective? Trying to overturn the results of the first class trial. The Mono Cubs won't be silent <laughs> about this! What? Us again? But we said we don't know! Um. The. Yeah. Drop a ball. Pink fiber. If Rantaro's killer is the mastermind. That means Kaede was the mastermind! Can you prove the mastermind is the culprit? Yeah! Got any evidence? You want evidence Kaede is the culprit? The shot put ball at the murder scene! She used the camera flash to lure Rantaro in, and then cracked his skull with a shot put ball! Yep, yep, Kaede set up the whole thing! Oh, she did. Even the lethal shot put ball! Kaede had it all along. There we are. That's wrong. I'm sure I did that. The most important fact we discovered during the investigation is this: the shot put ball that Rantaro was killed with was different than the one Kaede had. What'd you say? I have no idea what's going on. A different shot put ball. What do you mean? I found a shot put ball in the trash can in the hidden room. But it was not the murder weapon. That shot put ball didn't have any blood on it. Rather, there was a pink fiber stuck to that shot. Pink fiber? So what? Do you remember how Kaede was carrying the shot put ball? Yeah, his backpack. It's kind of a shock football in there. Despite its weight, it would have been easy to carry in a backpack. Now she also had a spare vest, which you could have wrapped it in. That would prevent the cameras you were carrying from being damaged. I see. She had it in her backpack. It was wrapped in her spare vest. Her pink vest. 
see. The shop put ball you found in the hidden room had a pink fiber on it. Yes, it's a fiber from her vest. It's not like that fiber could have been picked up from something that was already in the bin or anything that like that. That can only mean that the ball I found was the one that was in Kaede's backpack. What'd you say? Really, I got no idea what you're talking about. And I guess Master knew about the plan, so they had a shot put ready. That shot put ball did not have blood on it, so it could not have been the murder weapon. In short, the shot that Kaede used didn't hit Rantaro. But then, maybe they just washed off the blood. If so, the fiber on the shot put ball would have been washed off as well. It's clear to me that the real murder weapon is different than the shot Kaede had. Yes, Kaede set up the bookcase and rolled the shot into the vent. But that shot didn't hit Rantaro. Her plan failed. F failed? I don't even know what that means. If you found that shot put ball in the hidden room, then that means... I found a shot put ball in the hidden room because the mastermind took it. That's it! The Mastermind took it from the library. Only they could get in that room, after all. The Mastermind took it? So they recovered the shot that missed Rantaro, and he was killed by a different one. Rantaro was killed by the Mastermind, who made it look like Kaede was the culprit. That required a bit of trickery on the Mastermind's part. They prepared their own shot to kill Rantaro and switched it with Kaede's shot. They took Kaede's shot put ball and stowed it in the hidden room. Where did Kaede's shot put fall in that case? Did it hit anything? Or did they catch it? it? Simply, Kaede didn't kill Rantaro. It was the mastermind. What? Did you say? Everyone calm down. Father is going to yell. <laughs> what? Monodum, why?